lieutenant fine young man. I went to school with him. And uh, he was a greater so uh, ahead of me. And uh, uh, he was one of the most popular fellas in this town. Uh, everybody knew him. Everybody loved him. And, uh, and he sorely missed. We've had a lot of fun together. Lieutenant, rest in peace. What did he do? He started me on my way. Yeah, love, love. And when I would kid Lieutenant, and he would kid me. And so one day, one day, he came and gave me my scrambled dog, and it had three tums in it. <laughs> right sitting right on top. <laughs> Lieutenant's a real good person. He's a sweet person. He'll do all he can to help you. And we're going to miss him real bad. I believe back when Lieutenant Claude Hill was in the on this side. And when he opened his eyes on the other side, I mean the angels were there. Uh, Brother Lieutenant, to the family, we love you. Uh, we are members of Lewis Memorial Baptist Church. Uh, we're going to miss you sitting back there behind us, man, tapping us on the shoulder and uh, telling us good morning. You love us and giving a shout out to our little mama. Uh, be blessed to the family. We love you. His arms of service have reached and touched people from all walks of life. He used his unifying force of food through his world famous scramble dogs and a heart filled with love to make a difference in the lives of others. He's just good to everybody, lovable guy. You know, he treated people, everybody the same. I'm just so appreciative to have the opportunity of knowing him. I've been blessed to know him. I just thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to share those few words. The main thing that he taught me out of life. He said, God bless a child. It's got his own. I said, I'm telling I was young at the time. I was like, what are you talking about? Every time you see, he said, God bless a child. It's got his own. He said, think about that. Lieutenant taught me several things. He taught me respect. He taught me perseverance. And he taught me the electric line. <laughs> and Lieutenant must have had a heck of a mom. I'm telling you what, she raised a fine young man. And can you imagine when he was 13, walking up that hill from the bottom to where Dinglewood was, passing all those big houses? And he conquered both worlds. And his love would have helped. Lieutenant would have lived forever. Amen. Amen. Lieutenant, I'll see you later. But those kind of memories will be all, mm -hmm. they'll all be coming back. But they were all, the thing about it is they will all be good memories. So. People have raved about the scrambled dog and about the hot dogs for um, ever since I can remember. But I got them every Saturday for dinner. So, <laughs> well... I think on a Facebook page that I said that he was a servant and he served Columbus, many, many generations of people that came through Dinglewood every single Saturday. And I can remember when I was a child that on Saturdays that you hardly could even get in Dinglewood because it was so crowded. And I don't know if people more were going for the scramble dog or if they were going just to get a therapeutic session with Lieutenant. Um, he was always warm and comforting and he always had a good word for me. He always had that wisdom for me, and I'm really going to miss him. We therefore commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust.